What is up, everyone? I'm The Professor, and welcome to a brand new episode of Shuffle Up and Play. How's it, everyone? I'm also The Professor, and we are so excited for this episode because it's our scientist showdown, and that means the return of fan favorite Brian Kibler lookalike, Kyle Hill. That's right, Professor, but in addition to Dollar Store Thor, we have two new guests, the brilliant Anna Margaret and Patch, a.k.a. Tier Zoo. How's it? Wow, is this like a face reveal for Tier Zoo? No, we saw his face when he won the Streamy Award for Learning and Education. Award-winning science educator Tier Zoo and also Kyle Hill? Those are some really high-profile guests on this episode. How's it? I can't wait to see him beat the professor in a game of Commander. Whoa, hold on there, professor. You never know which one of our guests is going to beat the professor at Commander. It could just as easily be Anna Margaret or Kyle Hill. You can't rule out the professor losing to any of our guests. How's it? How's it? How's it? You're right. How's it? But that's not all. We're super excited excited to announce that you can come watch The Professor lose at Commander live at MagicCon Chicago on February 23rd. But how can people possibly watch The Professor play Commander live, how's it? Game Nights Live is an amazing experience where you not only get to attend a Magic Con where you can meet your favorite Magic the Gathering creators, get in tons of games of Commander and possibly other formats, but the real highlight is getting to watch Game Nights Live. In the past, Jimmy, Josh, and Rachel have gone up against such beloved Magic personalities as Jacob Bertrand, who stars in the popular Karate Man TV series, my actual former student, Krim, aka the Asian of Avenger, Canadian comedy troupe members Graham and Kathleen of Loading Ready Run, and Magic the Gathering's very own yassified John Wick, Spice 8 Rack. And you never know who else is going to show up. From covert Go Blue to popular Hearthstone streamer Voxy, and even award-winning science educator Brian Kibler. And now they're all the way down to having the professor on. What a time to attend a Magic Con. So get your tickets now, because if there's one thing we know, it's that the professor is going to try really, really, really sincerely hard to win Game Nights Live just so he can never shut up about it. Never ever. So you don't want to miss this event because it's definitely worth the squeeze. We hope to see you in Chicago this February, and who knows, maybe you'll even get a chance to play against and easily beat the professor in a game of command. You know, I did win an episode of Game Nights, right? Oh, hello, what's up? It's Shuffle Up and Play, and today it's the scientists versus the English major. Will these sci files end up with the top tier deck, or is the professor <laughs> gonna turn everything into a zoo? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have here with us today? Hi, I'm Anna Margaret. So I mostly showcase my crafting and I love playing tabletop and dress up, but I'm actually a physicist. My background's in physical chemistry and physics education. I'm playing with Ginny Faye, Jetmere Seconds. I jokingly call this my, it's raining cats and dogs deck. My goal is to generate a lot of tokens and then actually have them be cats. So you're a physicist, but your deck is more animal biology. I know nothing about biology, so this is super not thematic to my degree. I no. know much more about quantum, so I guess they yes. just need to like make a... We don't know if they're cats yet until we observe what the token is. Exactly, Schrodinger's the cat. Yeah, 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 it's like the Schrodinger's cat phenomenon. Sure. Until the spell resolves, who knows what it did? Yeah, who knows? In, unless you read the card. <laughs> Non-deterministic. <laughs> the position of momentum could be anything. No, we understand that. He doesn't. Yeah. I'm, I, I, Do you feel I left saw... out? Do you feel left out right now? I, I, I understand quantum mechanics. I saw sliders. There you go. Did you see Oppenheimer? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> Sliders. Sliders. Do you remember Sliders? They go to alternate. It was a great that. show. <laughs> that has nothing to do with. It's, uh, there's all these different quantum realities, and it, Mr. Mallory had the slider, but he couldn't get back home. Oh, that's what the People? slider was. Yeah, sliders. It had the 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 guy from Lord of the Rings. The dwarf from Lord of the Rings was his professor, there's, Professor Arturo. There's thirteen of those. The first season of Sliders was awesome. Stop watching. Just pretend Quinn dies. Yeah. Anyway, who are you and how did you get here? Oh, hello. I'm award-winning science educator and what Olivia wishes Brian looked like, Kyle Hill. 
I have a degree in environmental civil engineering. I also have a master's degree in science communication where I got a 4.0 at Marquette University. Suck it. I will be playing today Rocco, a deck that I affectionately call Let Him Cook! In this deck, I'll be using his tutor ability to tutor up some win cons and show these other sciencey types and not so sciencey types what it means to win. How's it feel to win? It feels great, yeah. honestly. When it doesn't happen, we'll just see about that. So you're playing Rocco's Modern Life? Yes. Yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> Spunky! Yeah. Hi, I'm Patch. I run a channel called Tear Zoo. It is a wildlife ecology, evolutionary biology fusion with video games and memes. Today, I am playing Glunch the Bestower, who is a fun commander that gives out little presents at the end of each of my turns. So some people might call it group hug. I prefer the term symbiotic. We don't actually have to hug each other, right? Oh, don't touch me. Well, I mean, I was hoping so, but whatever. No, 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 no. Well, I'm an English major. I wanted to be an animal biologist. I actually, for my whole life, was geared towards being an animal biologist. I went to the Zoo Magnet Center for Advanced Biological and Zoological Studies for high school, and I learned a lot of things there. Like, science is hard, and it's a lot easier to get an A in an English class because any answer is right. One of those books was Lord of the Rings that I fell in love with when I played Magic the Gathering. And so today, never mind that my commander is Volrath the Shape Stealer. This is my Lord of the Rings Oops All Nazgul's deck. Mm. Interesting. You like biology? How do you like that biology? So I don't, you're going to be trying to be a big Nazgul with Volrath as much as possible. I've been called that many times already, so I figured <laughs> I might as well build the deck. A big Nazgul? Yeah. Oh, you big Nazgul. Oh, because you're like screechy and gix. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's turn two! I get it. That's not what I sound like at all. Of course, not what I sound like at all! That's exactly what you sound like. I can see the audio guy going, Yeah, Ooh, that would hurt, right? <laughs> you, really, you realize our audio guy has headphones on. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we shuffle up and play? Sure. Remember, in Commander, first mulligan is free. Oh wait, we're supposed to roll for high first? Let's you, do, let's you, do both simultaneously. Okay, you show us how you shuffle and roll for high. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, watch this. Watch this, let's see. Yeah, watch this. Nope, you got it, and it doesn't, because we... How is the audience supposed to see the roll? Yeah. Hello. So that's a zero. Kyle rolled a zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know I had to be on the map. Yeah, I, I've actually never done quest, that qu Question, did I not say it has to be on the... Wow, that was is that, the, is that the same? All right. It is the exact same roll. Oh, is it? <laughs> I rolled an eight. Beat an eight. Statistically possible. Oh, Boom. Did not beat the eight. But not as probable. Correct. Is, is that technically correct, what I said? No, it's equally probable. How is it? Eight and six? Is it? Well, you're rolling two dice, and so like having no. like the combination no, of the numbers. It is more probable that you will not beat your roll. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah. You were right. See, were right. English majors know things. It. It's right. just like lightning. All right. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. how you like that? That means I'm Breaking going last. Back. I guess oh, I just had tough. to show Kyle Hill a little something <laughs> about science. Yeah, Please get that tall. I don't want to go last. Random. <laughs> Six. Six. Now, remember that your first mulligan in Commander is free. See, I always struggle with this because I know it's free and I know it's like good to mulligan, yeah. but I hate slowing people down. And so I'm point. like, oh no. <laughs> Better in Commander to mulligan for the good hand because people would rather have a good game than beat you. You can't let them know that your deck is Unless they're Kyle. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take my second set. Are you doing the thing where you put it on the bottom? No, I'm shuffling in then. Yeah. After that, that's oh, when I put it's it. a one lander. I see. That's when you London it up in London town. Bit old foggy London town. All righty, let's see what I've got here. Oh, I've got. <laughs> Quite ah, the... I got a mulligan that. <laughs> Quite the poker face. Quite the. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell I was. I thought you were going to read it. Ah, look, I got three <laughs> lands and some card draw. All right. Yeah, just read it aloud to us so we know exactly what's in your hand. I opt not to. Okay. I mean, that's a personal choice. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a I had a that. friend that I played with that awesome. I didn't know was a stupid person until he said, uh, he, he kept saying, Ope it. Oh, no. He kept saying, Ope it. I'm like, what what card are you playing? It's like, Ope it. I'm like, and I, this is after many games. Like, let me read that. It's three letters. <laughs> so what is wrong it? with it? It's opt. Oh, opt? It's like, Ope it. I'm like, what is wrong with you? 
Turns out he couldn't read. All right, it doesn't have a turn one soul ring like my first hand had, but uh, I think I'm, yeah, I'm gonna keep you it. You mulliganed away a turn one soul ring? It was all it had. Oh, okay. okay. I'm a three color deck. I'm not keeping one color and then a soul ring. It's like, I'm not gonna cast anything. <laughs> something yeah. a lot, really early. In the I, I need colors. I need pretty, pretty colors. So, yes. Everyone else uh, uh, got their hands and keeping? I'll roll with it, yeah. Yep, I'm gonna keep it. You'll roll with it. No, you won't, you already did. And I'm going first and I'm gonna go ahead and play a prismatic vista, pay a life, tap it, and go search my library for a basic land to put onto the battlefield. And I'm gonna go get me a... So we're all kind of animal adjacent. Well, I, took, I, I took biology. But you know facts about things, right? I know facts about things, not necessarily if animals. You play, if you play a creature, I want a creature fact from you. A about creature facts? Oh, about, no. about, about said creature. Can I give you physics creature? facts instead? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> no. All right, all right, I'll do my best. Yes, that sounds fun. And you tell us something literary about each card. Uh, the oh, About each card literary? Very well. Swamp, the sudden sinkhole was surprising enough, but nothing could have prepared you for the ancient city that was hidden underneath. The city represents your own fears and insecurities. Mm. Pass the term. Those are some like, alliteration going on there. Yeah, that's yeah. a literary term, right? Also, literary. probably don't want to build on a swamp. If it's sunken beneath, it's probably because of the structural instability mm. of the peak. I'm going to play an Evolving Wilds, and I'm going to tap and sacrifice it, grabbing a forest. Interstat, past you. On top of Um, I'll play a. I didn't. I. 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 I one, one, two, three. Four, I didn't draw for first. Does anyone mind if I draw <laughs> for first? Must play. Must go, play. go. Uh, I will play a land, a mountain. I will use that mountain. I'll tap it, and I will play a ragavan. Now, we think that modern Homo sapiens, Homo erectus, started around 150 to 200,000 years ago. That's Sorry, teach you. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with a command tower, and I'll end my turn. All right. I will actually remember to draw. That's nice. All right, let's go ahead, and we're going to play a command tower. Sounds good. Tap two for an arcane signet. Pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to untap. Jeff turn. And then I think I'm going to. Let me cook some guy. It's not even your turn. It's not I know. Even, I'm, I'm not I just, talking to I you. Just, I was going to do something. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a root brown crag that enters untapped because I control forest. Then I'm going to tap two and I'm going to play a leafkin druid. Hmm. So it taps for one green, but if I control four or more creatures, I get two. Um, creature facts. <laughs> for a druid? <laughs> I'm not too much about druids. I, I know. Guess. I don't know. Facts. What? What? Was it elf? <laughs> or is it human? It's an elemental. Oh, druid. elemental. Okay. What animal is the top tier animal for a druid to have as their uh, uh, familiar kin? Ooh, Ooh, that's a pretty good question. Yeah, that is a good question. Why didn't you do a video like that? He did one about Ant Man going up Thanos' butt. You know, like come <laughs> yeah, on. With the times. Yeah, you're so right. I don't know. For I mean, in D and D, what would you? Get, like, dinosaur, what would you right? have as like as tier zoo? What what one of your top tier OP animals would you have at your side? As a druid. Could I get like a like a hornet's nest? Like a whole bunch of hornets? Yeah, there's a yeah, beekeeper be, ranger. Very perfect. In D&D, &D, yeah. That'd be extremely the swarm powerful. Keeper ranger. Uh, and very a, hard to defend a against that. Periomancer? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Something like that. That'd be for specifically honeybees. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Is apiary specifically honeybees? Apis mellifera is the scientific name for honeybees. But so is I an apiary only for honeybees? Give them some I smoke. don't think people really Coax like them. I domesticate. Raise, I raise plants. Do you not? <laughs> okay. You Fair know, enough. this all reminds me of a poem <laughs> by uh, T.S. Eliot. I raise attack hornets. Do people not do that? <laughs> uh, untap, upkeep, draw. I mean, the last time they tried to raise something other than the European honeybee, they came up with the killer bee. Which ended up not being so great. So, you know, good luck. Not my favorite pose. Um, I'll play a forest for turn. I will move to Crombat. I will attack the professor for two. Oh, 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 will you now? Now, do you really want to kick that bee's nest yes. this early in the game? Yes. <laughs> You're sure? You remember how that worked out for you last time? Yes. I take two. Oh, dude. Uh, could you exile the top card of your library, please? And I will create a treasure token. Do I have to reveal the top card when I exile it? Yes. I Maybe. reveal A, Rishkar's Ooh. expertise. Wow. I can play until end of turn, but I won't. So you can go ahead and exile that. It just goes away forever. My Rishkar's expertise. Yes, um, it's the only expertise I had. <laughs> I will then crack this treasure mm -hmm. and pay Ooh. two mana uh -huh. for a Somberwald Sage. Mm. You can add three mana of any color, but only for creature cards. And pass. Okay. 
Um, I will play planes. I can't see that creature's power. Uh, zero, three. Okay, great. I love zero power creatures, so I'm gonna go for a tenuous truce. Uh, you and I, for as long as we don't attack each other, draw an extra card at the end of your turn. Okay. So, just don't hit me. I we're cool, you know? I heard of that Okay. Card. Until until I hit you this Until happens? you hit me or I hit you, we're cool. We both get to draw extra cards. Isn't that fun? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Interesting. So if you hit it, it says sacrifice if you deal damage to each other. Either of us attack each other, uh, this card's destroyed. Mm, tenuous indeed. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, I didn't say anything about this owl. Barn owls actually evolved. Uh, they, they don't fly as high or as fast, but their flight feathers have evolved to be almost completely silent. So they've they've held up really good microphones and had barn owls fly by, and they create almost zero decibel change as they fly by. And that uh, classic shape to the Barn Isle's face, we think it's to kind of act like a dish for sound and direct it towards their ears. So they're, and, and then they're uh, 3D locating in space because their ears are also off level. So not only are they on different sides of their head, they're also at different levels so they can indicate where a mouse is underneath. See, Smiler keeps something. telling me that AI is coming for my job, but I think actually you are coming for I've been coming job. for your job for years, but okay. Maybe you're AI actually, all time. Neat. So in Neat. literature, the owl is often interpreted as a source of knowledge, but also secret and mystery. Mm. A great example of this is the television show Twin Peaks, where they had the recurring saying, the owls are not what they seem. Mm. And it meant that there is something unknown lurking just outside the parameters of the uh, uh, humanity play that was unfolding in the show of Twin Peaks. I think of Great Gatsby. Yeah. Nerd. <laughs> the owl in that wears glasses, doesn't he? Yeah. That's a nerdy owl. Yeah. I think it's your turn, bro. Is it, did you, yes, I didn't, I'm done. did you Sorry. pass? Okay, great. Are we done talking about owls? Can we move on to other <laughs> fauna? Shaman? All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, that's a fun one too. I'm gonna go ahead and play an island and it's time for the deck's namesake to come out. We're tapping three for a Nazgul. This is a one, two death touch. And when it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Now I don't have a actual ring to put on my Nazgul. So it's a good thing I have this infinite token token that can represent anything. And normally you would draw something on this, like plus one, plus one. Oh, well, they have little tokens now. Yeah, they have little tokens, like so that you That's can do cute. a plus one, plus one counter. But since this is just supposed to be the ring, I'm gonna draw a hole in the middle. Oh, using the space. Guys. And then this Nazgul is Don't now the ring bear. This is, I'm doing what Sauron should have done, mm -hmm. or is it Saruman? I get them confused. Which one is the bad guy? They're both bad I don't, guys. I meant the big bad guy. I don't the really big one, yeah. Sauron. Sauron. Sauron is like the- you, know. you understand how I could get those names mixed up. Yes, I exactly. really think Sauron should have said to Saruman, can you pick a different name? Yeah. But so I'm doing what Sauron should have done and making one of the Nazgul's my ring bearers. Now, technically the Nazgul's did have, but that, that's- all. Well, the ring ring. Yeah, the ring The ring race. Race. Anyway. That's why they're- Nazgul's in the yeah, first yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, so you know. this Nazgul is now legendary. His name is Bob and <laughs> can't be blocked by creatures with greater power than one, two. When the ring tempts me, however, I get a plus one, plus one counter, not to be confused with my ring, on my Nazgul, making it a two, three. Whenever the ring tempts me, I get to add that to every wraith I control. And even though this is commander, my deck has up to nine cards named Nazgul in it, but it actually has way more than nine Nazgul in it. Mm -hmm. Way more than nine. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. I'm feeling a, like that coming. was a, that was a threat of not I passed the turn. I'm gonna untap. Upkeep, draw. I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna tap one to play a soul ring. Then I'm going to tap one, two, three to play my Tireless Provisioner. So whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I create a food token or a treasure token. Mm. Hopefully when Ginny phase out, they'll also be cats and dogs. But for now, that's good. And I'm gonna play a Bountiful Promenade. It enters untapped, because I have two or more opponents. Mm. There's three of you threatening people. And then I will create a treasure. And in my turn, because we have a truce, we each draw a card, yeah? Sounds good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You've got me doing that now, by the way. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Yeah. It, it just, it reminds you. It's the and only thing I've, I've been watching your channel for years, but that's the one thing I learned. 
Hey, if it's, if it's Shots one thing. Shots fired. Yeah. If it's one thing, it's more than your students, so that's fine. Wow. Um, I mean, ask Krim. That's true. <laughs> Krim can verify. Uh, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing Ragavan at Patch. You're just jealous that I didn't pick you. Well, that's true. Also, you know, I will declare zero blocks. Three cards. OK, take two. Yeah. I'll create a treasure token. And please exile the top card of your lib. Is a windswept heat. Uh, I already played my land for turn, so that can just be exiled. Okay. Please and thank you. I'll tap Sam Somberwald Sage for three. What? Then I'll tap these three, and I'll play Rocco, where X equals three. Uh, Rocco is a chef that looks like he hates everything, which is why I play it. And he says, for X, um, when he enters the battlefield, if you cast it, which I did, search a library for a creature card with converted mana value X or less and put it onto the battlefield. X, in Whoa. this case, will be three. So I will do that now. <laughs> don't want to be too mean, but don't want to lose as well. <laughs> that fine line of like, how mean can yeah. I be while still? While still presenting something spicy. I'll put a Ranger Captain of Eos oh, okay. into play. And when it when it ETBs, I can get a converted mana value one or less creature. I'm gonna grab an Esper Sentinel. Classic. The classic one-two punch. You wanted your own card draw. Yeah. yeah. Everyone else yeah. got some jobs. Um, Does it go to the field or just your hand? That goes to my hand. She though. did all of that just to get an Esper Sentinel. <laughs> And a 3-3 three, three. that uh, Ranger Captain searches for a 1 CMC, but it also can be sacrificed to have a silence effect on my opponents. Mm. Can't cast non-creature spells that turn. Um, Don't love that. I will crack my Trej for 1 white, and then I will play that Esper Sentinel, and then I am done. Okay. So I actually, I don't know if I want an Esper Sentinel. I think you do. Why? Well, I mean, I would want it in my deck, but... Yeah, they're good. Yeah, but I don't think I want you to have one. Oh. I'm going to actually cast Artifact Mutation, and so I'm going to destroy your Artifact. Do you pay one? Um, no, you can draw. Yay! You can have your draw. It paid for itself. And then I will create a Green Sapper Link. Okay, and I, I drew one because you didn't pay one for the Esper Sentinel tax. It says right there, first non-creature spell oh, yeah. each turn. It was her not first non-creature spell for my turn. Any so other end of turn effects? I don't think so. I will play a forest, and I think I'm gonna cast my commander. Launch the star is in play. At the beginning of your end step, choose a player. They put two plus one counters on a creature they control. Then I choose a second player to draw a card. Then I choose a third player to create two treasure tokens. So I will move to my end step. Do you, um, uh, can you, you can target yourself? Yes, I'm gonna pick myself. I save the best gifts for myself, of course. Who doesn't, right? Why not? Yeah. Once a day, every day, buy yourself a gift. Mm, treat yourself. Treat yourself. So, uh, it's my end step. Glunch is gonna trigger. Uh, let's see. So who's got scary things? Hey. I don't have I, I, I don't have scary things. If I if it's if a Nazgul. He, who's scared of a Nazgul? Yeah, like if, everyone well, in the Lord of the Rings? What have they ever done? They're not real! Come on. If yeah. if I make him stronger, will you hit somebody else? Sure, I'll okay, hit cool. someone else. He can be two plus one counters bigger than. <laughs> so, so this is going up. This has now three plus one plus one counters on it, okay. making it a four five. Oh, I'll gladly hit someone else. If you keep doing that, I'll keep hitting someone else. We, we have an accord. Sounds now, I don't know which <laughs> someone else at the table I'd probably hit. I don't know. There's a lot of someone else's to choose from. So we don't know who the professor would go after. Okay. Do you want to draw a card? Yeah. You could draw a card if, you know, maybe you don't point those scary things at me. Yep, I won't. Lovely. All right. Go ahead for, and draw a card. Turn, for one turn. One turn? For the turn that this is happening, yeah. Okay, fine. Deal. Uh, I will choose myself as the third player, and I will make two treasure tokens. My turn is complete. Go ahead. All right. Untap, upkeep, drawer. There we go. Let's go ahead, and I think it's one Nazgul. We've had one Nazgul, true, but what about second, second Nazgul? Nazgul? I think I'm going to cast <laughs> a spark double. You may have Spark Double enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control, except it enters with an additional plus one plus one counter on it if it's a creature. It enters with an additional blah, 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 blah. It's a creature. So it's going to enter as a one, two Nazgul, but uh-oh, the ring tempts me. And we all know from both reading and watching The Lord of the Rings that there's no downside 
to the ring. So they did a great job designing the ring tempts you. No, no the downsides ring, here. The ring bearer doesn't know that there's a downside. Right. That's like the, I mean, I think And, it's and I, you know, when you watch Lord of the Rings, you can tell every time Frodo puts on that ring, he has no clue at any downside going on. He doesn't look miserable <laughs> and like his very life essence he doesn't being forget siphoned the taste, away. The taste of bread or anything. No downsides to the ring. He doesn't get stabbed by a big guy. <laughs> he doesn't forget the touch of grass. So now my powers increase because when my ring bearer attacks, I will draw a card, then discard a card. Mm -hmm. That is so sweet. So what's great is, is that each Nazgul gives each other Nazgul a plus one, plus one counter, including itself. So this Nazgul not only gives itself a plus one, plus one counter, but it gives this Nazgul a plus one, plus one counter. And this Nazgul is so grateful for that. It is not only going to give itself a plus one, plus one counter, but it is going to give this Nazgul a plus one, plus one counter. I feel like we need more Nazguls, but for now, I'm just going to be a man of my word, honor my bargain, move to declare attackers, Kyle, this Nazgul that is my ring bearer is coming at you. My loot triggers, I draw a card and I discard a card. I don't really think I need this Sauron's, Saruman's, it's one of them's ransom. Whichever one it is. <laughs> Some wizard. Place. One of them's a wizard and one of them's a god's assistant, right? Like an avatar. Right, but it's not the god of the world, it's his assistant. I don't know, man. You didn't read the books? Reading the books explains the lore. <laughs> they're, they're both Can I start they're both the Cimmerillion? Is this my moment? <laughs> yeah. This is my moment. <laughs> so, am I right in that they're both Maya? Creatures? Yeah. They're like both angels, kind of. Well, I mean, it's a, they, well, they think of more the wizards more. As You're all knows. stepping on my territory here. Can you stick to science-y things? What is the science? You should do like a video. Kyle. Oh, oh sorry. I, <laughs> someone mentioned similar Lila and I fell asleep. Yes. That's next year's expansion. No, the Cimmerillion's great. That's <laughs> <laughs> I know how we'll win. I have a plan. Don't fall asleep because these attackers are coming your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. No blocks. Wow. You take six damage. I'll take six damage going down to 34. Can we do a rule zero next time where I get a Nazgul as my commander? That wouldn't be broken, right? Oh, not at all. Fine. Okay. Well, actually, in a way, my commander is. I feel like he kind of Nazgul. is a Nazgul. Oh, yeah. That's he's, what he's I everything. thought. That's yeah. what I thought you were doing. Yeah, yeah. It, that's it, wild. I, I wanted to bring in the spark double. Although this it time. actually is kind of a non-bow because if you put a plus, uh, if you put a minus minus one counter on either of those, it will cancel out with a plus one plus one, and then you can't activate that ability to make it a Nazgul. Well, Sherza. <laughs> Thanks, Professor Brainiac. I just thought, you know, you read the card. God, <laughs> uh, pass the turn. Awesome, I'm gonna untap everything. Okay, no upkeep triggers, draw for turn, tap. Uh, one, two, three, and I'm going to play Ginny Faye. All right. And so now, if whenever I would create one or more tokens, I can instead create that many two, two green cat creature tokens with haste, or three, one green dog creature tokens with vigilance. So, say animals. Okay, now I'm going to play a land for turn. That will trigger my tireless provisioner, and I'm going to create a 2-2 two -two cat with haste. Meow. Meow. Okay. Meow. Meow. Now there's a cat. Then I'm going to tap my leaf kin druid for two green, since I have four um, or more creatures. Mm -hmm. So I've got two green, and then I'm going to use my soul ring for two colorless, and I'm gonna play a scepter of celebration. It's an equipment, so you can equip a creature, and it gets plus two over zero and trample. And whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player, I create that many one, one green and white citizen creature tokens, but instead, hopefully, they'll be dogs or cats. Right. Oh my God. Yes! They're coming! This is the deck that All would have been on brand for you. I agree. <laughs> so I've got I still got one colorless floating. This planes and then sack my treasure token to have three to equip my cat. Hiss. Yay! <laughs> so now this is a four two with trample. And if I'm understanding this correctly, that is a three three Nazgul with death touch. This is a four five Nazgul. Oh, because it's, it's got the base one right. two. It's got the base one two. So oh. this is a one two with three counters on it. Oh, that's scary. And as every English major knows, a one two with three counters on it is mm, mm, power. Yeah. Yep. Mathematically. Okay. Well, do you think you'd let my cat go through? Guess we could see. No. Absolutely not. You'll block it? Yeah. 100%. You wouldn't want to waste those creatures. I know. You, those happen. are pretty good He's creatures. Lying. I'm going to attack you. I'm going to attack you for four. It's a four two. Block with a three one. Rocco. Okay. Damage is dealt. Rocco dies. I'll move Rocco back to the command zone. See, now you can tutor for something else. I don't even feel bad. I know. <laughs> I don't even feel bad. 
Okay, and so we each get to draw yeah. a card, we and both I both draw if it's your instep. Yep, yeah. that'll be my instep, and I'll pass to you. Untap, upkeep, no effects. Draw. Um, I will play a Coplusion Forest as my land for turn. You're suddenly from New Zealand. Steve I, Irwin. <laughs> why do you keep, you keep biting off of me? Oh, I should Australia. be in New Zealand. Yeah. Lord of the Rings, New Zealand. Yeah, I guess you should though, mate. But you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the issue. You, you've gone from looking like Thor to sounding like the guy who directs <laughs> the Thor movies. <laughs> I just think it's funny to make movies about Hitler. Um, <laughs> What he did, that's accurate. It's, it's a good movie. I like that movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. <laughs> uh, you, know, you, just, you can't say Hitler on camera. Um, Thank you for getting me demonetized. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so there's a lot of scary stuff on the B, and I know that the professor is going to keep swinging flyers at me. Now, maybe what if you what like, if you actually do the one thing you've never done? No. Sit down okay. at the table and talk to me about my needs and my feelings, and we could maybe make this work. All right, honey. Yeah, I'll try. All right. So, what are you going to offer me to attack these two, and so that we're not enemies forever? Can we put this behind us? I want to put it behind us. I'm sick of it. Hey, you want to put me behind you? I want to put the tension behind me. Oh, I was on a whole different. So yes. I'm going to tap a forest and play an Avison's Pilgrim um, as a dork. And then I will move to my combat step and I will do nothing. And I'll pass. Sweet. Riveting. Mm. Just okay. riveting. Just making sure. We're on like the edge of our seats the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Moving to combat. You can buy the whole seat, but you just need the edge. <laughs> well, you guys never been to a monster truck Sorry. rally? No. I have not. Do you go to monster truck rallies? They are the loudest things in the world. It is. I believe it. I you you Most people tear up their program and stuff it in their ears. It's wild. OK, uh, I will play a planes. And then I'm going to tap my forest to play a Birds of Paradise. Wait, but look, we're planes twinsies. I know, isn't that such a look nice one? This. We we're, love the infinity Yeah, ones. we're twinsies with the little galaxy. Can we twins? team up just to <laughs> take care of like, this sickly sweet yeah. friendship? Yeah, we're way table mates. <laughs> yeah. Way, way, so, it's just so much energy, so full of life. That's, I know, I hate it. That drives me crazy. Yeah, like, Things that drive me crazy, other people experiencing joy, <laughs> friendship, <laughs> love. Tesseract. Can't stand uh, that stuff. Like, stuff. just go through Yikes. that just we've gone through out. and be sad now. And bitter, damn, resentful, petty. Damn it. We should be partners on the same team here. No, I already sat next to I sat next to Kyle. We're we're on this side of the table. High school rules, buddy. Yeah. Sorry. You can't sit with us. All right. Well, at least I'm sitting next to uh you're sitting next to Kyle and I'm sitting next to an incredibly popular science YouTuber. So we got that going so, for yeah, you, which is nice. You can't say the same thing. Uh I think I'm going to sacrifice my two treasure tokens and tap. Three, so for a total of five, and I'll cast Ring of Three Wishes. It enters with three wish counters on it, and I can pay five mana and tap it to remove a wish counter and search my deck for any card put it into my hand. Commander Ulster. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna move to my end step, and we're gonna start giving presents out again. So who wants to not attack me? I won't. Okay. Do you wanna? Do you wanna draw a card? Yep. Okay. Who wants who wants counters? You want to I actually want to draw a card. Would you would you take counters on a big thing to not attack me? I don't have any way to block his flyers, so honestly, I don't want him to get counters. But they fly now. I don't know if they fly. They Do don't. the Nazgul fly? They, they what? Don't. Oh, Kyle, did you read the card? I didn't. I just Reading the card that. explains. What the am card. I thinking of? The ring wraiths? Maybe the witch king. He flies. Oh. oh, but they're death touch. I didn't even know that. He game. read the card. Look at that. There he goes. They're not flying and they have death touch. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You can put counters on one creature. Damn it! Two counters, and then you can draw a card. Ooh. You just give me I didn't, twice I didn't, I didn't, in a row. Get, you get cards every twice turn. Twice in a row. You're my favorite, okay? You get cards every single turn. Okay, good. Okay. And then I'm going to take treasures again because I like treasures. Don't worry. Pay no attention to treasures. I, I didn't agree. You realize, you, I just want to be clear. I did not agree not to attack you, though. I think it was implicit. No, I do not think it was implicit at all. I think so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done. Okay. I did not say that, to be clear. Hmm. You know that there's one kind of Birds of Paradise that has feathers similar to Vantablack? 
in that really? the structure yeah. of the feathers goes down to the nanoscale so that it ca it captures the majority of photons that go in and set so instead of think of it like a little forest of little nanostructure so instead of reflecting back off and you can see that light mm -hmm. it gets trapped in there and dissipates its energy and it makes it one of the blackest blacks in the world on this bird's on so this like, bird's plumage so it's like anti iridescence yes i'm sorry Oh, oh, are we I'm playing just, magic here? I'm vamping, baby. You're vamping. Yeah. What? Yeah. All right. Well, you like music. I really want to get my commander out to prove to you that this is not a non bow. So I'm going to actually play my Busaiju without, you know, using it as a channel because I want the mana this turn so that I can go ahead and do a green, a black, and a blue plus two to bring in my commander. It's Volrath, the Shape Stealer. Volrath is not a non-bow, as our judge has confirmed, because Volrath, if you read the card, which explains the card, yeah. doesn't have to copy a creature with the negative one, negative one counter on it. That's just icing on the cake. So I'm gonna move to combat, and just to get you, I'm putting a negative one, negative one counter on your dork, you dork. I didn't want to do this. You made me do this. I think I've seen this no, I'm, no, I'm pretty story. sure a judge explained to you the optimal play that you weren't making. He I didn't, think he didn't say to be petty no, no, and after Kyle. He didn't say to be petty and after Kyle. He just said he just said that you were wrong, pretty, which I love. No, I did. He said you were wrong. <laughs> no, I said I was this so is, right. Do something else. No. Yeah, that's what. I exactly. Okay. Uh, move to declare attackers. Guess what? They're both coming at you. Mm -hmm. Kyle. I'll pay one and I'll cast a path to exile. Exile target creature. Its controller may search a basic land card. Put them on the battlefield tapped, uh, targeting your Nazgul. My Nazgul is path to exiled. And you get a land. Forest enters tapped. Yes. I still get the trigger of looting off of it. Yes, because you attacked. Right, so I'm going to draw that for that loot trigger, and I'm gonna go discard this land that I drew, which would have been nice to have at the start of the turn, but I no longer need for my commander. And are you blocking the one that you didn't path? Uh, what's its power, uh, toughness? So it's a four, five. Um, I will... But it has death touch, yeah. and not flying. Yeah, I read that. Card. Explain the Card. Um, Okay, well, I don't have any good trades there, and I don't want to lose my creatures for no reason, so I will take four. I'm um, going down to 27. Oh, and everyone else at 40? Cool. Um, no, I'm at 37. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still your turn. It is, yes. so I don't know why you're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> if we keep talking, does it become our turn? Is this yeah. my moment to just start monologuing? It does, because I pass the turn to you. Yes! Perfect! Okay, I'm going to untap. I have no upkeep triggers. Oops. And then I'm gonna draw for turn. So I'm going to start by playing a Cabaretti Courtyard. When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to create another cat. And then also when this enters the battlefield, I sacrifice it. When I do search my library for a basic mountain, forest, or plains, put it on the battlefield tapped and then shuffle, I gain one life. I'm gonna sacrifice this. I gain one life going to 41. I'm gonna grab a mountain. The mountain enters tapped, but as it enters, it's going to trigger my tireless provisioner. I'm going to make another cat. Oh my god. Right. Kyle, I'll stop attacking you if you stop bothering me and we both attack her. I didn't do anything. You, did a, you didn't do anything in the game, did I mean, you? Yeah, oh yeah, you yeah. did something with sonic that's, that's resonance fair. That's, to me. That's fair. <laughs> She's going to say it's not resonance, but that's fine. I was, but... <laughs> <laughs> see, but I, see, but I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> It's also not Sonic. I mean, unless you count it's that you're talking. Man, you, you gotta go fast. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, uh, would you guys be okay if I, instead of a cat, make a treasure? After you... No, okay, 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 fine, 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 no. I will, um, let's see. To answer your question. I got the vibe. <laughs> I got the vibe, would you be okay with it? I don't think I need it anymore. I got extra, extra information <laughs> and want to make a, a change. Is that okay? No, no, no. Actually, I didn't get any extra. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. That's a lot. And I'm going to play Finale of Glory, where X equals six, and I'm going to make six more cats. All right, and what else? Is just that, that just, just that? that. Okay, just they that. don't all become So No, 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 cats. so now I have 11 two, two cats which is exciting. My body. I kind of like our tenuous truth. Right, we're friends, totally. Christ. I can I can offer you more later on. You know, you've you've given me nothing. 
Other that is than not that. true. Other, other than, than that. Multiple cards, yeah. extra. Okay, okay, that's, that's been a lot. That's been a lot. Okay, I'm probably gonna get a bunch of Nazgul sent at me, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, Cause you're already down at 27. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm gonna send 11 22, 22 cats oh. at you, uh, Prof. They're, they're, they, ha they have haste. They, they do. do. Oh, so Ginny Faye either. Yeah, no, I two read two the card. I, yeah, I, it, oh, sorry, I, <laughs> I can read it aloud to no, you. Again. No, 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 no. That's quite all right. So you're all coming at me. Yes, they are. I'll block one with Volrath. Okay, I'll lose one cat. You lose one cat, and I will take how much damage? Um, that would be twenty. Twenty damage. So I'll just take one of one of these spin downs <laughs> just, that I'm using huh. to keep track of my life total. Cool. <laughs> That's great. We're having fun. The, Anything else? The power yes. of the feline. On my instep, because of our tenuous truce. Isn't it great? I'm going to draw a card. Me too. And I'll also right. take 20 damage. So Kyle, I'm never attacking you again yeah. for this game as long as she lives. No, I. Well, no, seriously. I just. You know I don't what? even need anything from you in agreement. I, I'm just letting you know. I am only attacking her for the no, rest what of I'm, this what game. I'm, what I want to do next, it doesn't affect you and it only affects them. So That's great I news. Mean, it affects you a little bit. Everything affects me. Uh, untap, upkeep. We're gonna get rid of our truce. Draw. I'm gonna apply a Joe Montana, Montana for turn. I'm then going to tap this for three. Uh, what? Four, five, six, seven for a young fresh Alesh. Norn. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's oh great. my cat. That's, that's great. Great yeah. play. Four, seven, vigilance. Uh, creatures your opponents control get minus two, minus two. Uh, creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Beautiful. That's tough. Beautiful. Right. Oh, my cats and my creatures. Bird. Bird. No oh. more kitties for you. For now. You couldn't, well, and that hits the dogs too. Huh? It does, yeah. Kyle Hill wow. hits the dogs. <gasps> you heard it here first. Oh, no. Smack them up. So, so far in this episode, oh, no. you've said, I like to do... Uh, I did not say what you're about to say. Okay. I said... Something regarding... I said, Hitler. as Taika Waititi, I like to make movies about Hitler sometimes. That is an accurate statement. Mm -hmm. I also said, hit them okay. dogs. I also <laughs> said, take the food out of the orphans' mouths. <laughs> That's Kyle Hill, 2024. I'm running. I'm going to move to Combert. I'm going to attack Patch with my Ragavan. And Anne, I'm coming at you with Ranger Captain. Okay. So if you don't block from Ragavan, it'd be six, and you would take five. Okay. Do -de, do -de. I'm gonna take five. Do -de, do -de, do -de. See, if I do it slow enough, you can't get copyright stricken. I will take also uh, take six. Bam! I'm going to 36. I go to 30. You're at 36 and 30. Yeah, that's, that's. I'm at 17. Yeah, prof, that's crap. After you take the damage from Ragavan, could I please exile the top card of your library? Then I'll create a treasure. Oh, I like that card. Uh, I have no ability to cast Smuggler's Cat, uh, Smuggler's Share, mm -hmm. sorry, and I'll, that can just go to exile. Okay. And then after that, I'll be done. Ragavan's never a, a late game thing. You just <laughs> Making it bigger. That was. Yeah. That right. was good. I'm gonna play another planes. This is getting a little scary. Yes, spice. Yeah. The blue player has no mana untapped. No. I have two mana, technically. Okay. They can be blue. They could be. Could be. Could be blue. But yeah, then I'd be treasure. Treasure. Not if it comes from their treasure. Yeah. I know, but I can't have, have a blue card spell. Yeah. But you could have you could have the treasure create blue mana. And that would not be cheating. So your statement was wrong. If you'd like some more tips on playing this game and how the game rules work, let me know. Be happy to help you. I'm really glad when I see people come to this game from wherever it is you come from. <laughs> Whatever hole you crawled out of. <laughs> Whatever YouTube algorithm hole you, the content mine you crawled out of. Ooh, I've got quite a few options here, but that Alice Norman really messes with It cramps my style. I'd love it if it, you could do something. I, well, what a tenuous truce you have. See, here's the thing. I, I can't do anything about his Elish Norn, but you know what they say, right? When you can't beat him, you join them. So I'm gonna cast my own Elish Norn, <laughs> which really nails you guys, but now yeah. we are, we're we've chill. equaled out. We're chill, yeah. right? Oh my gosh, so I think I lose all my creatures because everything's minus, minus four, four, minus, minus four. four. Yes. Okay. My Vorath lives by one point. <laughs> all right. Oh nice man. And my Nazgul lives. Yeah. Oh yeah, four or five. No one, no one cast an electricery. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! This is this is that that is that's quite oppressive. This I mean, is yeah. a double. This norm. is rough. Okay. Yeah. I can't. You know, now in my right. day, what would happen is just you would have to sacrifice 
because you can't have two Elish Norns on the board at the same time. Mm -hmm. How does that work? That they're different sense. art. That, they're yeah. <laughs> they're yeah, really yeah. pretty. That used to be a vi in like, I like that. Commander like 2012, 2013, there used to be a viable removal method, like playing yeah. clone or something like oh, that. Oh, in right. modern, it was just, you need to get rid of a planeswalker. Yeah. So you run that planeswalker not to ever play it, but just as a removal spell yeah. because there was no other removal for planeswalkers. And you played all the, the Tuck cards and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, I miss those days. Grandpa. Tuck was bad. Tuck, uh, tuck no, made tuck you was feel great. Bad. It made you feel It was bad. wonderful when okay. you did it to someone. I'm gonna go to my set now. Oh, I guess my deck doesn't work. And cool. let's see, who wants plus one counters? Uh, I, uh, your, your creatures are small enough at this point. They could do for a little. I'm, little, uh, I, I don't, I'm, I'm fine. Do you have to choose one? Do you have to choose each one? I mean, I you could be a horrible enough. person yeah. and you could give me plus one counters. Like I, I feel like I've kind of ruined well, your you day. Can't because there's no so. valid target. Oh, that's yeah, true. I don't choose the creature, I choose the player. So I could still target them. So it'd be me. So I could be me. I'd prefer you gave me something else like treasures, but. I'm going to give Brian plus one counters to put on one of your creatures, so you get two. I will go ahead and put those on my Volrath, the Shape Stealer. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have you draw a card. Okay. Because I feel like I've mess with your stuff enough for now, and then I will make two treasure tokens. I'm done. All right. The Norns. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a TV show, The Norns. <laughs> this fall, it's The Norns. You'll, I draw for turn. You'll rip your own face off. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go ahead and play a Yavi Maya Cradle of Growth. Each land, including Yay. all of my opponents, are now forests in addition to other types. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to spend uh, one from this forest that is my Yavi Maya to make Volrath a copy of my Nazgul. So Volrath, my commander, I got there. Non-bow that, you bastard. Uh, my commander is a Nazgul. And then let's go ahead and do blue, blue, and two more for an undercover operative. Undercover Operative enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it enters with a <gasps> shield counter oh, no. on it if you control that creature. Are you gonna make a third Elish Norn? Would dare. That would be. <laughs> as hilarious as a third Elish Norn would be, I am committing to the bit. The professor <laughs> commits to the bit. This is coming into play as a Nazgul now. All my Nazguls are going to see each other and reward each other with counters. But first, my commander, Volrath, becomes my ring bearer. Uh -huh. And now, this Nazgul is going to give everyone, including itself, a counter. Uh -huh. And this Nazgul is going to give everyone, including itself, a counter. And then this Nazgul is going to give everyone, including itself, a counter, and then none of those counters actually hit because this Nazgul died, but it still got to give counters. It's a thought that counts. It's wow. a thought it's that counters. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that. that was so Suck. good. That was so good. All right. Where were we? We were not ready. Yeah. Not right. ready for the bit. I'm behind. Now, when your ring bearer becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller sacrifices it at end of combat. Pretty nice, it also has death touch and all that stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to move to declare attackers. And I am so sorry. That's okay. You came at me with a million cats. Ooh. So now I'm coming at you. Total of 11 damage okay. going your way. Trigger off of attacking with my ring bearer. I draw a card and I'm going to discard a card, you know? At this point, I think it's time to discard these Elves of Deep Shadow. Don't really need the mana dork. Yeah, and it would die immediately anyway. Yes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I will go take 11 going down to 25. I still have nine more damage to do to you before, before we're Before you can even, even. it out? Mm -hmm. I and then I, I need kinda, to get ahead. I was scared of the Nazgul. That's I don't also, think you can blame me. That's also commander damage. No, right. no, not all of it. Just eight. eight You're right, I should yes. be jacked. And with that, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to untap. I have no counter, so no upkeep triggers, and I'll draw for turn. Oh, do you not? No, I don't know what happened to them all. They're oh, all gone. <laughs> what a bummer. <laughs> what a bummer. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a command tower, and then I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Uh oh. Throw my lands. I'm just gonna play a creature. I'm gonna play uh, Myogen of the Blooming Dawn. So it enters the battlefield with an indestructible counter oh, on it. Oh, is that the destroy one? 
remove an indestructible counter and create that many colorless spirit creature token. So no, 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 not that one. Okay. But it does it does survive even with a minus four, minus four. Yes. So it's gonna hang out for now. So it has indestructible for now. Uh, for now, yes, it is indestructible and it's also a zero two. Sick. So you just spent all that mana for a zero two. You know, yes, but now I have a blocker. It can block. Okay. And it, it survives that touch. And you can remove is, the counter for an instantly dead token. I have, I, you know, have a feeling that I may have like, a, Why'd my you cats, point at me? They've got the Elish I'm norms. just saying, I may have angered you just with my cats. Seven. Yeah. I'm a little concerned about commander damage. Sure, it's possible sure, I'll draw something sure, better. I don't sure. know. Okay, into my turn, I will draw a card. Watch your card. Uh, and in then, response to that trigger, I'm gonna crack a treasure for green uh, and lay, uh, tap a watt for an Eller Domery's call. Uh, search your library for a creature card, reveal that card, put it in your hand. And you guys can draw while I do that. Okay. And, unless you have any effects. Nope. Okay. Just shortcut that a little bit. Card. Note to editor, zoom in close on Kyle's face right there and do the thing with the math. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. No, it was funnier when you weren't mugging for the camera. <laughs> now that you're trying, it isn't cool, Dad. Uh, like, you're doing too much. Dad, you're making it not cool. Uh, <laughs> I will search for a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, and I will put that into my hand. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. When you put it that way. Okay. <laughs> this really is Rocco's modern life. You're about to win with an old modern combo. Oh, yeah. You think I should put Splinter Twin in here, though. It's hard to search for. Uh, but you have Enlightened Tune, whatever. Um, so I'll put uh, Kiki Jiki into my hand. I will put Ella Dahmer's Cult into the graveyard, and then you may continue with your hand step. I will now pass the turn. Sick. I will untap. Wonder what he's gonna play. <laughs> you don't know what I got. Uh, untap. It's the mystery mouse tool. Okay. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, I will play a forest as my L for T. I will then. Oh, she's right there. Huh? I will then. We're really trying to make this a science episode with all the, like, the little letters, <laughs> yeah. you know? I will uh, tap this for three red. Um, I'll use another two of that red to play a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. It's a two-two with haste. You can tap it to create a copy of a non-legendary creature you control. Token has haste, I think I said that. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. I will then tap Kiki Jiki to make a copy of Somberwald Sage hmm. with haste. I will tap that copy with haste for three white and one green, and I will cast a Felidar Guardian. No, not good. Not good, the kitty combo. I love it. Who's got the kitties now? I love it. Uh, Felidar Guardians, one four, when it enters the battlefield, you can blink another mm -hmm. uh, permanent you control, which is exile it, then immediately return it to the battlefield. What I would like to show is this ETB trigger, blinking Kiki Jiki, returning it to the battlefield, and then making a copy of Felidar Guardian to do the same thing. At the end of that loop, I would have X number of whatever I choose. Yeah, of, don't of, say infinite. <laughs> not infinite. I've been burned before on that. Of, uh, let's say, 500 one fours with haste, and I would swing out at everybody. With, so with you that. just won the game? It appears that I did, Professor. Or I'm presenting the game. <laughs> my friend, my friends say that now. You have two untapped. All right, well, I'll just counterspell the Felidar Guardian with, uh, I, 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 do I have to show the counterspell? Mm -hmm. I, I don't have a counterspell. <laughs> oh, I was. I don't, yeah. Move to windstep? Yeah, you like. Windstep resolves. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> wow. GG's. Good game. Good game. Well played, well played. Thank you, thank you. They told me no crazy combo cards, okay? They told me to take out Walking Ballista and Heliod, but I guess that doesn't apply to Kyle Hill. He's just built different, apparently, or he's able to build his deck different. So basically, a bunch of science nerds teamed up and ganged up on me and beat me up. It's like high school all over again. He told me to take out Heliod and Walking Ballista. Your thing is the same as that. No one said nothing to me. Yeah, why'd you say nothing to you? Come on now. <laughs> Okay, so with Cat Tokens winning the game, I feel like I have a partial victory. Now all I need is my own Elish Norn in the deck. Two things. I have once again proven that if you let Kyle Hill cook, he will open up a can of whoop ass and slap you across the face with a steak filled with great threat assessment. And two, I have established dominance, once again, not over, just over the humanities, but over all the other scientific fields. Engineering being practical and not Theoretical. 
wins again. Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. What's up, peasants? It's Shuffle <laughs> Up and Play, and we are drafting a peasant cube today. Peasant cube is anything with just commons and uncommons, so no rares and mythic rares here. I'm Corey Ballmeister. And my name is Brad Nelson. I'm Emma Partlow. Trigger off my young pyromancer. And young pyromancer can Ooh. get out of hand, though. Yes. It is out of hand, it's on the battlefield. Hey. <laughs> Are you just going to win right now on this turn? Corey, I've been on the show before. Yeah, you should ask Emma. Emma, <laughs> what should I play now? Yeah. She's got nothing, but I suggest trying to win this turn. <laughs> now Brad, if you want to attack with that mother runt, I'm just going to give you a brother pass, okay? I'll just take it. I, I told you, your worst plays will be turned into shorts. I'm never going to be able to financially recover from this.